Come here. Ready? Oh, yeah, you're so strong. Come on. Well, I'm Emily Ford. I am 29 years old. I live in Duluth, Minnesota. I am an avid winter hiker, sleep outsider, sleep in the snower, all the other things that have to do with snow. Professional snowball maker, professional board, fort builder, mm -hmm. professional sledder also, really good at sledding down steep hills. Uh, I have two dogs. One is named Diggins. She's three years old. Alaskan Husky, who is also my winter associate. And then my summer dog, Zulu, who's six. If someone were to try to be like, be like, oh, I want to be you for a day, I'd be like, well, pretty much you just have to say yes to every fun opportunity that comes your way. Moving to Duluth was just a yes. Um, my old roommate and I were sitting down in the coffee shop at Gustavus, and she's like, you want to move to Duluth? I'm like, Sounds great. Like, what else am I going to do after college? Going to Gustavus was the same way. It was like, do you want to throw for track and field for us? And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. And like, going on hikes, like, especially like this winter hike, like, I was like, one of my buddies, she told me about the trail, and I'm like, okay, that sounds great. So it's pretty much just saying yes to fun things that come your way. Knowing your boundaries sometimes, because if you say yes to everything, you kind of get in trouble, but it's kind of the yes life. Winter means everything to me. Like, <laughs> for, for, six out, for six months out of the year, I'm just like hoping winter comes back around, <laughs> mostly. You know, in the other months, it's so easy to be so busy, and it's so easy to like, fill your time, and like, run and be crazy. And so I love winter, because everything's quiet. Like, the snow just like, calm, like, all the sound just like goes away, and it's just like really peaceful. And like, the, the stars in the winter, when you're sleeping outside, like, they're so bright and everything's just like perfect. You can hear like wolves howling from so far away and it's, everything just has to slow down. And you get too much snow, you have a snow day. Winter means everything. It means rest. It means I finally get to slow down, which I'm pretty bad at. So it's like forced rest, which I'm okay with. If you're equipped, like, and this is how I feel about a lot of just nature in general. If you're equipped, like she's kind of ready to kind of like hold you and like, teach you things you would never know. Like a lot of perseverance. One of the things I never knew that would happen when I went to Gustavus, and I wasn't like ready for it, was getting what community looks like at like an extremely aggressive like scale. But my community just like got tighter, but also grew and I learned how to do the same for students that came in after me as I got older there. Um, and how to do community well, and just how to love on people really well. I don't think that you learn that in a lot of places in the world. Um, and I'm really appreciative for that. I work with college students now. I still use that same skill set that I learned at Gustavus to like love on them as well and show them that no matter who you are and like wherever your story is, like I'm super excited to see you and meet you and hear your story. Like when I was hiking through Wisconsin, you know, 1,200 miles along, I still got to build this community along the way. During like those formative years, my four and a half years at Gustavus, I, I learned so much about how to do that really well. I still don't really, I don't think I really understand the port importance of like being the first black woman to hike across Wisconsin uh, in the winter, but uh, I think that's kind of it. I think my purpose is to show people that you can do anything. You know, I just have a couple rules when with that, and my main one is just don't hurt anybody on your way of doing anything. Um, but no matter what people tell you, like you got a dream, like go for it. You know, it's the whole yes part. Say yes and. What else is there? there you know, there's, there can always be more. Um, so for me specifically, it's showing, you know, women, people of color, anybody on the queer spectrum or any spectrum really that, you know, you can go out and do difficult and things that people think are too difficult to do and things that other people don't want to do at all. Like it's all open for you. And, and for me specifically, that's the outdoors. You know, people of color have kind of shied away from the outdoors for a really long time. Have been told that they can't, 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 can't. And, so they won't, 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 because they believe they shouldn't, 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 shouldn't. And I just want to say, yeah, you can. You can, can, can.